to stop falling behind even if you're already behind. Nobody likes feeling that pressure of never being able to catch up. Does that seem familiar to you? Tell me in the comments if that seems familiar to you. Say, yeah, I, I do. Sometimes I feel overwhelmed. Sometimes I feel like nothing that I do will ever be enough that I'm just, you know, a hamster on a wheel just caught there going around and around and around that I'm just living each day only to get to the next. And it's the same thing as the day before. It kind of feels like a rut, right? Ah, <sighs> take a breath. If you are falling behind, and if you're honest, you've been falling behind for a while, there's a pattern there that needs to be broken. The really cool thing is it's entirely breakable, and I'm about to give you your personal sledgehammer to smash it to bits so that you can stop falling behind, stop feeling that constant pressure that crushes your confidence so that you can walk with you know, more confidence and more happiness and accomplish more in your life. If you want that, that is exactly what you're getting today. But first, please, if you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button and the bell so you know when I drop videos like this to help you live a happier life. I'll be right back with the goods. Guild Coaching. More success, less stress. There's one thing that most people who have been falling behind have in common, and that's they've been falling behind for a while. They're still falling behind. They want to stop falling behind, but they just don't know how. And not knowing how leads them to feel like a failure. Then they feel like they're falling behind even more. Do you see a pattern here? This is not positive thinking, people. So what we're going to do today is we're going to arm ourselves with a sledgehammer and we are going to smash to bits the negative patterns that keep us creating the falling behind mindset. If you want to get rid of a falling behind mindset, I want you to open the comments right now and type yes. If you are active and you're typing and you're commenting and you're interacting, then you are going to learn more and you're gonna retain more of this. So if you really wanna stop falling behind, you wanna make sure that you're paying attention. Take notes, you can also use the comment section for that. And you wanna make sure that you're active so that you absorb as much of this as possible because You've got to do it in order to have the change happen. If you want to see change in your life, then you have to implement something different now to have something different later. Okay, the first thing that I would tell you if you always have your if you if you always seem to be falling behind is to schedule working meetings. Now, I don't mean meetings with other people. I mean schedule working meetings with yourself. Schedule out specific times on your calendar to tackle certain tasks. I go into this uh, theory, into this practice, this method in depth in our uh, Freedom by Design program. But here's the basic, uh, here's the basic method for you. You start your calendar with what's most important to you and then you make sure to put appointments all over it for the things that you know that you have to get done whether it's work, personal, whatever, you schedule the time to do the tasks. Because if you don't schedule them, you're going to get behind because other things are going to pop up. You know it. The phone's going to ring. Somebody's going to need something, whatever. The dog barks. The mailman comes. you got to sign for a package. Something is going to happen. And you are going to lose that time, little bits and pieces. And you're going to be, gosh, where's the time gone? If you want to know more about that time management and boundaries program, Freedom by Design, check it out. There's a link in this video description so that you can you know just cut and paste that URL and go and check out that program. There's self-study options or I can even coach you through it, whichever you want. Um, but definitely make sure that you're scheduling working meetings with yourself. I schedule working meetings to shoot our YouTube videos. I put off a block of time on my calendar and I know what the topics are and I know what I've got to get done and then I do it. Hard? No. Discipline? Yes. And that's where the boundaries come in. So you have to make sure that you have that structure set. The overwhelmed mind definitely is searching and yearning for structure, but there's so much overwhelm that you're not feeling that structure. So that is what these meetings will give you. They'll give you the peace of mind to know that even though, are you a little bit behind right now? Okay, yeah. Is it the end of the world? No. There's structure. Good. Okay. Number two, remind yourself there's still time. Now, let me say this. If you're using that as an excuse to not do your tasks, 
That's not what I'm saying. Remind yourself that there is still time and enjoy a deep breath so that you can rejuvenate your brain with fresh oxygen and then you can move forward with refreshed brain power to focus on the task at hand. If you are feeling rushed and you're feeling like you're always late and you're never enough, that is going to raise your base stress and anxiety level and your work product is going to, your relationships are going to, everything is going to. So remind yourself that there's still time. Uh, one of our kids recently asked me if it was too late for her to apologize for something. And I said, it is never too late to own up to something that you did and make it right. There's always still time. That's what I'm, what I'm thinking of for you. Don't give yourself, oh, there's still time. I'll just go take a nap. No, there's still time, meaning reduce your stress over the situation so that your brain can think more clearly. I'll tell you when my daughter said that to me and she got my answer, immediately the, the expression on her face softened. I could see her shoulders go down. You know, when we're stressed out, we have our shoulders all the way up here. You know, there's lots of tension, lots of tightness. I could just see it all melt. There's still time. It's like magic. Another no brainer change that you have to make if you are chronically falling behind in order to stop being that way is to turn this sucker off and pause your email box. A long time ago, I tried to reach my mother on her cell phone and I called and I called and I called and I just kept getting voicemail. Sometimes it went straight to voicemail. Sometimes it would ring a few times. Honestly, uh, my mother passed away in 2010 and I don't, remember how many years she had a cell phone before that, but it was a considerable amount of years that she had a cell phone. I don't remember a single time mama ever answered the phone. So one time when we were face to face, I confronted her about this <laughs> and I said, why don't you ever answer when I call? And she very softly and wisely said to me, Jane, I do not have my cell phone for your convenience. I have my cell phone for my convenience. This thing, has become our, a great tool, but also a great enemy for us. Just because somebody calls doesn't mean you have to answer. I'm not sure if you can see the screen of it. There's tons of notifications right now. And you know what? I'm not looking at them. The ringer is not even on because the time right now is for you. I have this scheduled for you. The phone will come later. My email box right now is paused. That will come later. Just because somebody reaches out to you in that second does not mean that you have to respond to them in that second. Sorry to tell them that, but mostly the problem is with you. There's a friend of mine recently who I just sent a text to. We don't work together. We're just friends. We just hang out sometimes. And sometimes we'll work out together. But I just shot her a text. It wasn't even important. And about 30 minutes later, I got this huge text apology back which first of all, don't do that ever. There's a video here on Guild's YouTube channel about the, pro pro the, the method that you should use in texting. A lot of us text way too much and misuse text. But anyway, I got a huge apology back from her. So sorry that I haven't answered yet. I mean, it had been a half an hour, maybe, maybe 20 minutes probably. Why was she apologizing? There was no reason to apologize. And she just felt this huge burden. was so rude of me. Da, da, da. It's not rude. She's going on about her life. If it had been an emergency, I would have dialed her number three or four times in a row. I would have called her husband. I would have tried to reach somebody, but no, it was no big deal. There's no need to apologize. And we are on this trigger system of, oh my gosh, somebody sent me an email. I have to answer right now. No, go back to those meetings that you're booking for yourself, for your work time and stay true to them because your worth solid attention. You are worth me not answering all of those notifications right now. You're worth my time, my effort. You are. So if you're worth my time and effort, aren't you worth yours? Give yourself that break. Lower your stress. Stop holding yourself to other people's communication standards. The only time that I say, you know, you have to remain uh, available to a certain person is, is if it's, you know, a spouse and they might need your help 
or if it's your boss who authorizes your paycheck. And even that person, if that person doesn't understand that you're going to take work hours where your cell phone's not going to be on so you can be at his or her beck and call, then maybe you need a new boss because you need somebody who understands that you work best, not just you, you, me, everybody works best when we have time that we can focus and pay attention. If you will implement those things in your life right now, I promise you in two weeks, you will not feel like you're falling behind. You will get things done and you will be on time and you will have lower stress. If you need some deeper help to accomplish this, please check out the link in our video description, both for Freedom by Design, which I've already talked with you about, and then also for a private breakthrough session. This is a one-to-one -one session with me. We can talk about your issues and then I can advise the proper path forward for you. So check out those things. Before you leave, also give me a thumbs up on this so that I know that you were here, that you liked it, that you stayed with me this long. And if you haven't already, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you know the next time that we drop a video to help you live a happier and more successful life. See you next time.